glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Arizona's looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season started. You know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. So they're going to have to prove it on the field again today. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. It's the birthplace of grunge rock music. Seattle, Washington is the site for today's football game. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Washington is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. <laughs> Wiley's a guy that comes out here on the road. The coaching staff knows that he is in a hostile environment. I think they're hoping that that's going to play in their favor a little bit. Well, I think they want to challenge him. I, you know, over the, over the year, I think they've seen that he has an ability to make plays, but when he gets on the road, he has a tendency to maybe to cough the ball up and not play as well. And I think that they feel like they can really try to challenge him, get this crowd into the game, try to crowd the line, put as much pressure on him as they can, and they feel that they've got a shot to slow him down. We'll see. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. Arizona's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. Booming kick. Heading for the corner. Jackson fields it at the 30. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. From their own 41-yard line, second down. There's a play fake. And he's got all the time in the world. Fires across the middle. Tackle made at about the 25-yard line. Once this guy gets into the secondary, he can be a real problem to bring down. He can shake off a lot of tacklers who are smaller than he is. down 10 to go ball on the 25 yard line and he just gets rid of it you know when you feel pressure like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds
tackled at about the 15-yard line. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. Nice run up the middle. Gain of five yards. That makes it second and six. From the 10 yard line, second down. Here's the give. They'll bring him down at the 12 yard line. That's a loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and seven. lays him out and they get five yards from that completion this was a nice little route here by the receiver he took the ball in nicely and got his team a decent game this should be an easy field goal Washington could take the lead with this field goal he gets it up and it is good let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio the Tigers come into today's game ranked second in the land it felt as if the game rested on every play Clemson takes the seven point win Elsewhere, time to take you out to this matchup in the Pac-12. We've got a tight one going on here. The Cougars lead 3-0. Reese, 3-0 here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Huskies are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Caught with room to work. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line. First down. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. at about the 47-yard line. He caught some key blocks and was able to turn it into a 10-yard gain. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. And they make the stop right around midfield. First down pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. Toss is left. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He gets hit out of bounds at the 25-yard line. First down. From the 25 yard line. First down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Makes it to the 14. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. quickly and he's got his man brought down at about the nine yard line good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play and this play is number eight on the drive yeah 
Gets it out quickly. And he's taken down at the six. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Arizona is down three and looking to tie it up. It's up, and it's good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. He's at midfield. To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Huskies. was simply sensational running and it shows you what kinds of major things can happen when you have a good ground game and he tacks on the extra point the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep he sends this one deep he's to the 20 and he's tackled at the 26 yard line the huskies are smothering the opposition so far today what's this offense got to do to get off the schneid well you talk to offensive coordinators about that and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy who are our players that we know we can count on and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about that's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down now. got it complete he's out of bounds From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Three down, three down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Ten. 59, Philly. 59, Philly. <laughs> On the pitch, look out, loose ball. Looks like the offense has it. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. From their own 40-yard line, second down. And down he goes at the 43. Exciting first quarter comes to an end. 10-3, Husky. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. He fights forward to about the 43. Jackson is back deep to return the punt. From the 15, he gets out to about the 25-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Washington is up a score. 
Pass complete and taken down immediately. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Slings it out and it gets tipped. He was able to just tip that one away right out of the receiver's reach. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on him. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? The last possession didn't go in the favor for this offense. I'd expect to see them come out and be a little bit more conservative with some safe play calling in order to avoid another bad result. Tackle at the 23. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. From their own 42-yard line, first down. the run they'll get him for a loss the defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage him hard at the 40-yard line. Loss of one there for the halfback. And I'll tell you what, not only was this great penetration, but it was a heck of a hit, too. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Coleman on the inside handoff. He makes it to the 42-yard line. Jackson, back to return it. He really got a hold of that one. He's taken down at the 26. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Washington up seven points. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. complete and he stopped immediately in the shotgun and five wideouts fires quick he's got another one 
Tackle made at the 40. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. Over the middle to his tailback. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. There's a play fake. He's going left. Caught open field. The 10. And he's tackled in the open field. And a great pass play that time. And here we see just how much this defense respects the running game. They got sucked in here on the play action and got beat on the pass. Good play call. And smell the end zone as they look to extend this lead. Washington is up seven. Quick out to his receiver. He's hit and taken down. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. He dives, and he'll be marked down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Defense stacked in tight here. Touchdown, Washington! And he hits the PAT. So an eight-play, 74-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So our score, 17-3. Henry is lined up to kick this one off. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. He goes downtown. He goes up and gets it. And that tackle very well could have saved a touchdown. The pass was a little bit high, but this kid had no trouble adjusting and making a great play. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Arizona's going to use their first time out of the half here. strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down just outside the goal line. The Wildcats are going to call their second timeout. It's second and goal. Ball on the one-yard line. Rose complete touchdown. the extra point a four play 75 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown boy that is scoring in a hurry this offense is looking more and more explosive Arizona to kick this one off he just drills this one he's to the 20 The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. 
You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 27. That's good for the game, seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Washington is up by a touchdown. Check, check. Stay on. Stay on. tackled at about the 31. The Huskies use their second timeout. First and 10. Ball on their own 31. Fires quickly and he's got his man. He's brought down in the open field. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. He's hit immediately. Well, we've played a half of football. Washington's lead is a touchdown. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA football. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Quick throw, and they push him out around the 34-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Washington is up a score. Here we go. Straight run, and he's brought down in the backfield. No gain on the play. Third down. Makes it to the 35 yard line. Singer awaiting the return. Calls for the fair catch. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He makes it to the 32-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. He's taken down at about the 41. Turn around the tackle at the 41-yard line. First down. Fires out to his wideout. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. And off up the middle, and he's stuck. And he's 
taken down at the 50-yard line. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Fires across the middle. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Number 51 brings his head down at the 41-yard line. First down. Down he goes around the 39 yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. There's a strike complete. He's pushed out of bounds at the 30. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guys covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. Sacked on play action. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Tenth play of the drive. Two times, two times. Wiley gets a carry left side. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. That's a game of six on the play. That brings us third and ten. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Don't say nothing. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Three, three, three. Uh, this quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. Arizona ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Washington's offense was rolling along earlier, and now they have gone ice cold in the third quarter. Brad, they almost look like a different team. It's like they've come out of the locker room a little bit flat here in the second half. We'll see if they can have something happen, something to spark them and maybe get their mojo going before they end up losing this ball game. Washington is up four. Gets it out quickly. Tackle right around the 26-yard line. Second and nine. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Tackle made at the 29-yard line. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. And they got it. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. That brings us fourth and 15. Singer, the return man. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. 
for the first down. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Here he goes. Makes it out to about the 16. That's good for a game of 16 yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 16. Three down, three down. Mike, Mike 51, Mike 51. Ten. He fights forward to about the 16. That makes it second and ten. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 17-13, Husky. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He might have a chance. And he shoved out of bounds at about the seven-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Three down, three down. 51, Mike. Mike 51. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. teams realize that when the ball is snapped we're one play away from a very different ball game. Washington holds a four point lead. They'll bring him down around the 15 yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. yard line second down he makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line the stop right around the 28 yard line that brings up fourth and three they've got 10 guys up it looks like they're going to try to block this one tackle made at the 41 Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Caught 
caught with room to work. To the 20. Knocked out of bounds at the 10-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Touchdown, and that puts them on top. And that one worked just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A short two-play, 58-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. I think it'll be very interesting to see how this quarterback makes decisions on this drive. It's a pivotal drive. They'd love a touchdown, but at the very least, he's got to manage this drive to at least get into field goal range. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. He's got the corner, and he's tackled around the 29-yard line. It's second and six. Ball on their own 29. Toss. That's a great tackle at the 31-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down around the 41-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That makes it second and two. Five wide. Here we go. McMillan takes the give. He's knocked out of bounds at the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. Slings it. Touchdown! What a run to take the lead. Call a tight end's number, and he comes through with the score. He did a great job here of using his size to create space for himself so the quarterback could get the ball into him without any defenders getting in the way. That's a great touchdown, Brad, but what happened to the coverage there by the defense? The defensive coordinator's got to be beside himself. You know, you work all week long on studying an offense and their tendencies, and then to have a mental error and to leave the star receiver open like that for a touchdown? Well, they've got to regroup. It was a six-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 24-20. Well, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Just over two minutes in the game. There's a play fake. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 48. That's good for a game of 23 yards. First down.
First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. Got a man in and out of his hands. Complete and he stopped immediately. Game of six on the play. Third down. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's at the 30, and he hits him hard at the 26 yard line. That's good for a gain of 20 yards. That, that makes, makes it first, first and ten. ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Brought down at the 17-yard line. The Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. We have less than a minute to go. And he's level at the 16. The Wildcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 16-yard line. The 10. And down he goes. Right around the 8-yard line. Number one on the tackle. That easy, easy, easy. Delta. That makes it second Delta. and two. Here we go. Spikes the ball. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop this in this serious. quarter in a game this close. Oh, man, they've I'm got to be frustrated. Game. I'm sure they're ready to get off the field, and now they've just handed the offense a whole new set of downs. So here we go. First and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. Defense stacked in tight here. Hands it to the back. Tackle around the one yard line. That's good for a game of two yards. That brings us to the second The spike will stop the clock. That makes us third and goal. Third and goal, and they can already taste the lead. Gets it out to the tight end, and he can't hang on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the ball game. Handoff inside. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. Arizona staff, they've got to love the fact that they've got this kid in this situation week in and week out. Yeah, I mean, they know that when the chips are on the table, they've got to find a way to be able to get him his touches, and this time he steps up in a big way for the touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. 
and they get the sack. How about the effort of the defense right there? You know, for the rest of the game now, he's going to be looking for this guy every time he drops back to pass. Let's see if that throws off his timing. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. He rifles it to the left, makes the grab, and steps out right away. and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Throws it deep. And he's got the freshman. It's over. It's over. in the fourth quarter now and with that score this game's a one possession ball game and it's really going to get tense from here on out and he adds the extra point Stats today, again, are off the charts, and they continue to be all season long. Unfortunately, they don't get the win. Yeah, the team loses the game, but for him individually, he continues to show the nation why he's one of the best in his position. And so that's going to do it. The Huskies take this game 31-27. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nessler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.